Another question that we see a lot in our Facebook group and on our YouTube channel, we've been asked this quite a bit recently, is can I change the location of my U.S. Embassy or U.S. Consulate interview to another U.S. Embassy or Consulate? And so I, we understand that the reason you're asking this question is because you're, you're wanting to be creative and try to find the fastest route to be together. And we completely get that. Um, we love that you're, that you're being creative, that you're researching, that you're thinking, and that's what we do all of the time here at our office, trying to find creative ways to help people be able to be together as soon as possible. So that's, um, we understand that that's why this question is being asked. To give you a little clarity about where the U.S. Embassy or Consular interview will occur, to just give you some context before I, I answer the question, um, U.S. Embassy and U.S. Consulate interviews will occur in the immigrant's country of, of origin, so the country that they're born. They can also occur, though, in a country where the immigrant is living. So some sometimes we have couples who are married or they're going through the fiancé visa process and their um, immigrant spouse or fiancé might um, have citizenship in several countries. And so there might be a few countries available that we could actually have that interview. Or um, sometimes individuals have um, citizenship in one country, but they actually have a resident status or lawful status in another country where they're working. Um, and so if, if an individual has lawful status in another country, that they happen to be residing there, living there, working there, you can actually have an interview in, in that country too. So you can have some choices available to you about what country you have your U.S. Embassy or consulate interview, um, depending on what countries of citizenship you have um, and also where you happen to have lawful status or be working. And so at the beginning of our, uh, of our clients' cases, we kind of determine, okay, what options are available to you? What embassies, U.S. embassies and consulates could we potentially have your interview um, scheduled at and what's the most convenient for you? And so at the beginning of the process, that's when you would make that determination and ask immigration to have that interview there because they will, they will typically default to your um, country of origin, the country where you were born, the country where you're a citizen, but you can ask to have it in other places. A lot of people are asking this question um, because from what we can tell from the questions we're asking our Facebook group and on our YouTube channel, is that they're hoping that because of all of the backlogs and because there are so few interviews being scheduled, I think a lot of individuals are hoping that they could move it to another U.S. Embassy or consulate and maybe be able to get an interview faster. Because I know some countries, specifically um, the Philippines, there's just a very low amount of interviews being scheduled and there's a high volume of people waiting for an interview. So a lot of individuals, I can completely understand, are feeling desperate and wanting to find another place to have the interview. The reality is that um, moving your interview to another U.S. Embassy or consulate might be possible if you have citizenship in another country, like I said, or, or have lawful status working somewhere else. Uh, that would really just depend on your specific case, where you're wanting to move it, um, that, that that could be possible. The way to do that would be depend on where you are in the case. If you're still in the National Visa Center, you would ask at that point, if it's already been moved to an embassy, then you'd be reaching out to the embassy of the country where your interview will be scheduled and asking to move it to another U.S. embassy or consulate. But to, we, to be completely honest, the reality is, is that would not necessarily get you an interview faster, and it actually could delay the process if you try to move your interview to another U.S. embassy or consulate because you could get put back in the back of the line with other people who have already been waiting. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, it just is really going to depend on, on where you are in the case. If you're at the beginning of your case and you're picking a U.S. embassy or, or, or consulate to have your interview at, that's a good time to kind of weigh options about which might be best. But if you already um, are, are waiting for an interview at a U.S. embassy or consulate, the, the likelihood of moving your interview to another U.S. embassy or consulate could be pretty complicated and also would not, not necessarily give you an interview on a sooner date. 